Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to see about trigonometric leveling. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. We know that in a compass, we can only find the horizontal angles. But when we use a theodolite, we can find both horizontal and vertical angles. In these cases, we are going to use a theodolite to find the vertical angles. So uh, let us look into our case one first. So in our case one, our object is accessible from the instrument station. Say this is my tower and I need to find the RL of this tower. I uh, am setting up my instrument station here and this path is accessible so i can go and find out the distance d between my station and tower so this is my case one my uh, object is accessible what i'm doing is i'm setting my instrument near the benchmark so benchmark is where i already know the rl say this rl is 100 meters i already know the rl so from my theodolite i'm seeing the back side which will give me the height of the instrument. I know this height. Now all I need to do is find this height. From the diagram, we can see that the RL of this tower is equal to the benchmark plus the height of the instrument, uh, say the back side which I am seeing, the back side, and this vertical distance V. So the problem here is how can we find V? So let me name this triangle. This is A, B and C. In triangle ABC, tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent which will give me V by D. I already know D. I already know my theta angle. So from this I can find my V. So uh, when I find V, I can substitute in this formula and from this I will find out the RL of the tower. In my second case, uh, the object is inaccessible from the instrument. Say I have a stream here and I can't go and find out this distance d. So in this case, this d is an unknown. Uh, same way, I have a tower here. I need to find the RL. I have a benchmark here. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to find two vertical angles. As usual in my previous case, I am firstly setting up my theodolite here and finding out the vertical angle that it makes with the top of the tower. And again, I am moving the instrument to a distance B and setting it here and again finding out my vertical angle. In this case also, it is evident that the RL of the top of the tower is equal to benchmark plus our backside plus the vertical distance V. The problem here is also to find V. So uh, to find V, we have a small formula which can be derived very easily using uh, normal trigonometric relations. First, let me name all these angles. I'm naming this as A, B, C and this as D. So in triangle ABC, tan theta 1 is equal to opposite which is V divided by B plus D. Similarly, in triangle DBC, it can be found that tan theta 2 is equal to V divided by D. So from this V is equal to B tan theta 1 plus D tan theta 2. Similarly, from this we can find that V is equal to D tan theta 2. On equating these two equations and bringing the d terms to one side, we will get that d is equal to b tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 minus divided by tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1. So from this we will get the d value. So from this we will get our d value and when I substitute d value in this equation, I will get my v. And when I substitute v in this equation, I will get my rl. It is pretty much clear that from these two cases that we are using just normal trigonometric relations. Now keeping that in mind, let us solve one problem from gate. So the question goes like this. The vertical angles subtended by the top of the tower 
T at two instrument stations set up at P and Q are shown in the figure. The two stations are in line with the tower and spaced at a distance of 60 meter. Uh, this line, the two stations are in line with the tower. This line means that in the plan say this is my tower, both my stations P and Q are in line with the tower. This is what they mean and they are spaced at the distance of 60 meters. A leveling staff placed at a benchmark of 450 meters they have given benchmark and the reduced level is what they have asked. So right here they have given us the diagram. This is our tower T. We have to find the reduced level of the top. So we need to find the reduced level till this point and this is my station P and Q. And my benchmark is set up at 450 meters and my uh, station P gives me a backside of 0 0.55 and station Q gives me a backside of 2.555 and the vertical angles are given. Let me call this distance as X and this we know uh, we can find the difference between these two and we can find that it is 2 meters and this horizontal distance is an unknown say it is Y. So uh, it is evident that uh, in order to find our uh, reduced level, the formula is simple. Uh, the benchmark, highest backside that we know, which is 2.555 plus 2.555 plus the value of x. And the problem here is to find the value of x. So let me give some names for these triangles. Uh, I call them A, B, C, and uh, this as uh, say x and y so firstly in my triangle abc uh, it is like this this distance is x plus 2 meters and this is uh, 60 plus y meters and the angle is 10.5 degrees so in triangle abc my tan theta will be equal to opposite by adjacent which is x plus 2 divided by 60 plus y now let us look into our triangle x b y you can see that it is uh, my opposite side is x and my adjacent side is y and my angle is 16.5 degrees from this we can find tan theta is equal to tan theta which is equal to tan uh, 16.5 degrees is equal to x by y from this we can uh, find uh, let us take y value in terms of x so y is equal to x divided by tan 16.5 degrees which will give me uh, y is equal to 3.37 x so now i have y in terms of x i'm going to substitute it here so this equation will become theta value is equal to 10.5 degrees substituting the value of uh, theta 10.5 degrees i will get 0 0.1853 is equal to x plus 2 divided by 60 plus 3.37 x because y is equal to 3.37 x so from this we can see that everything is known only x is unknown from this i can solve and get my x value as x is equal to 24.35 meters so now that i have found x this is not my answer my uh, real answer is so benchmark is equal to 450 plus 2.555 plus 24.35 meters uh, since this is in uh, three decimal values i will find the other decimal value here it is uh, 2.3557 so this value my to final answer will be equal to 4476.911 meters this is my answer so this is how we solve a problem when trigonometric relations are used you can see that it is very very easy we are just using basics of trigonometry if you found this video useful please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video bye